Hey beauty, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeannie. I'm so glad you stopped in and I hope by the end of the video, you'll decide to stick around, become part of this beauty YouTube family. I would love to have you here. So for today's video, I pulled the trigger on another Sephora haul. And before you say anything, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jeannie, <laughs> stop buying makeup. You have enough. No, that's what my husband's thinking. But these are just a couple few little products that I have put into my cart, then taken out of my cart, then put back into my cart, then taken out again. I'm not alone, right? You guys do that too, where like you fight with yourself on a product that you want and then you'll be like, no, it's too expensive or no, it's not the right time or no, I have too many of those already. And then you go back and forth. So this is kind of what this haul is, consists of a box of those products. Um, but to be fair, I have, didn't order anything from the BoxyCharm sale, I think for the last two months, or maybe I ordered one or two things last month. And I gotta be honest, the last mega drop shop with BoxyCharm really peed me off. I spent a ton of money I got half of my order. Okay, I understand every once in a while things happen. You might over count inventory somehow and, you know, one or two products here and there throughout the year. But it was half of the order that I didn't get. And I still did not get the refund for all of those products. And that is really annoying because it's been months now. So, and also during that specific shop, I know that I was not the only one that didn't get like multiple products from their order. And how can you grossly, like, how can you mess up that bad? Like, that's not like a little boo-boo, like, you know? So, um, I don't know. I just, I would rather take my little extra couple dollars at the end of you know, my pay period and get what I really want from Sephora. At least that's how I'm feeling right now. BoxyCharm, please change my mind. I'm open. But yeah, now before we get into the little unboxing, um, I want to quickly mention one of my friends here on YouTube. It is Cece from Cece's Trial Size Life. So I have known Cece since like pretty much the beginning of my YouTube career if that's what it is or if that's what you want to call it but um she is near and dear to my heart and she is creeping up on 2,000 subscribers which is so exciting and it is well deserved for her she's just an all-around good human being like I don't know how else to put it. Um, she's also very funny. And um, also when she hits 2000 subscribers, she is doing a massive giveaway where it's going to be like a huge advent calendar full of amazing products. And so if you are not already subscribed to her or you have not heard of her, I will have her channel linked in the description box below. And it would mean everything to me if you went and checked her out and helped her get to 2000 subscribers. So. There we go. Grab your wine, grab your your cozy socks and your pet, a snack, whatever it is that's going to make you feel comfortable. And let's talk Sephora. Okay, so the first thing that I have in my box is actually not from Sephora, <laughs> but I saw that it was in there. I tossed it in the box when I was bringing the box downstairs because it was upstairs and it needed to come down here. But I actually found this little guy at my Marshalls the other day. It was for $16.99, which isn't like super cheap for Marshalls, but it's the cutest little palette in the world. It is a little baby NARS palette. And you guys, look at the packaging. The packaging is so stinking cute and I am definitely a sucker for packaging. Um, it is like a magnetized closure, which I just love. It feels luxe. It's got a little bitty mirror in there and this is the little baby orgasm palette and it is really pretty. The shimmers in it are just kind of multi-dimensional or multi-chromatic looking shimmers. And it's just really, really pretty and also very wearable. So I, they got me, I got it. <laughs> Next, um, okay. So I 
am somebody who loves when I want to try a mascara, getting the mini size to try them out. So I actually got two that I have been wanting to try and I've got some thoughts. <laughs> so I haven't tried them yet. We're going to try these products here together on another video. Lately, I've been doing like my hauls and like we'll try everything on together, but I just don't have time for that tonight I have worked all day it's probably like one in the morning and I you know I had an early day at work today so I've, I've literally been up since like seven o'clock in the morning yesterday <laughs> so um we're just not gonna get into all that today but we definitely will soon but the mascaras that I got are the Lancome Lash Idol this was $14 and then I also got the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Now, this one was $15. And what I want to, to give mention to right here, Lancome is like bougie, bougie, bougie. And theirs was $14. Ilia's is kind of on the newer side. Yes, they're clean, but they're not like a long time staple like Lancome. They're kind of more um, new to the beauty community in comparison, not that they're brand new or anything, but in comparison to Lancome. Okay. So Lancome's was a dollar cheaper than Ilya's. And look at the size difference. Like that is a decent size for a mini. Like it's, it really is like, let's compare to a full size. Okay. So there you see, that's a decent size for a mini. Now, let's look at the Ilia in comparison. Like, so I don't know. I was kind of disappointed when I saw how small this mini was for $15. Um, but maybe I'll really love it. That is what the wand looks like. It does look like it would be fabulous for separation, but I have no idea how the formula is. Of course, we're going to find out here together on another video. But then this is the Lancome, and this is a very unique looking wand. So the bristles are not very long on it. And in the picture of the wand on the Sephora site, it did appear that the bristles were longer. So I really hope this isn't going to be one of those super wet and messy formulas. I was really excited to try it, but we'll have to see when the time comes, if it was worth the $14. Now, this is something that I repurchased, even though I pretty much still have a full one left, but I have been using it every day, so it's going to go very quickly, and this is something that I will continue to repurchase until I find something that beats it, which I don't know if there ever will be. You guys, if I'm being honest with you, I'm looking down in my primer drawer right now, I probably have 75 primers, um, like honestly, Urban Decay by Terry, Laura Mercier, Yensa, Tatcha, Elf, um, Ciate. Like I literally have probably 75 primers and I have never in my life found such a smoothing primer. This is the Cali Ray So Blown Peptide Primer. And so it's got collagen in it. It's good for your skin. And I've just never seen anything so damn smoothing. Like I'm in love. It is $36 for one fluid ounce. So it is not cheap, but it's also not the most expensive primer out there, but it's definitely a pretty penny for the amount that you get. And for what it is, it's a freaking primer, but I love it so much that like it makes a huge difference. I'm telling you, if you're somebody who is looking to smooth over texture on your skin, it also does give a very soft matte finish. Um, so it is, I am somebody with dry skin. It is not a drying matte finish. It's just a very soft velvety matte finish. And just the smoothing effect of it is so amazing. And it lasts like my makeup is like, I don't know, like let's see, like 13 hours old right now and my skin still looks smooth. And I use this for the most part with my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation because that is my favorite foundation. I have tried it with other foundations as well and it was absolutely just gorgeous. It, it didn't matter what, which foundation I used, it performed the same so far. So 
I did get that. Let's switch lanes into some eyeshadow palettes. I got a couple palettes. The first one is from Lawless Beauty. This is the Glam one. So the outer packaging kind of has like some shiny pink. This is what the palette looks like. So it is neutral, but you get a nice deep tone. You get some neutral tones. And then those shimmers though are like, whoa, very, very, very metallic looking and just beautiful looking. And I got this because I remember I got um, the baby one from Lawless in, I think it was an Ipsy Glam Bag X. And I remember when I saw that it was chosen for me, I'm like, okay, whatever, another neutral palette. But you guys, I tried it. I ended up loving it. As you can see, this palette is literally like used and abused. I use this palette so freaking much. It literally stays right on the top of my um, vanity area here so that it is easily accessible because I use it all the time. The mattes are so blendable, uh, so beautiful. I use this all the time for the brow bone and inner corner. I use this one. You can see like the dents from my fingertips and the brushes. This palette performs like a dream. It's always those ones that you're like, oh, okay, whatever. So, you know, like probably could have found something that I would have been more excited about, but ended up getting it and then just it ends up becoming a staple piece. That's one of those. So I'm really excited to try this one. And honestly, the tones are kind of similar, but we get like a rose toned metallic in here. And I will say that the shimmers look slightly more metallic in the glam one. And then of course we've got that deep shade. So I'm really excited to play around with this and we definitely will do that soon. Um, next, you guys, when I first saw this palette, the ABH Holiday um, Rose Metals Palette, uh, I thought, mm, I, I don't want it. It's, you know, I definitely knew that I was going to get some holiday palettes. Uh, I just didn't know which ones. And I'm like, okay, so like watching all of the things come out and uh, seeing reviews on them. And I don't know, all of a sudden I changed my mind. I put it in my cart a couple times and I'm like, no, I don't think... You know, this this one is not for me. And I, I love ABH palettes. I do. This one was more expensive than her other ones. I want to say it was like $56 for this. Um, by the way, the Lawless, the Glam one, it was $25. Um, but then I started seeing some reviews on it and I changed my mind. So first of all, let's talk about the packaging. I love the packaging. I love the way that it feels in my hands. I'm very much like a texture person and it's just very smooth and I like that and then here is what the palette looks like I know that you all have seen what the palette looks like but it is kind of very like grungy looking like these colors are kind of like cool toned and like grungy but I don't know there was just something about seeing it on the reviews that I decided I was going to to get her. Now, I will say that in comparison to her other palettes, the, the pan sizes are bigger. I don't know whether or not I like that or not. It did increase the price of the palette. That is the reasoning on the increase in price because we're getting more product. Uh, but if I'm being honest, I don't necessarily, like how much eyeshadow do we actually use, especially if you're a crazy lady like me and you have 300 freaking eyeshadow palettes, like literally. So you're, you're, there's just no way that you're going to use all this shadow, right? So I kind of, I, I don't know. I, but on the other side of that, the old Anastasia palettes, the pans were so little that I felt like it kind of made it messy when I needed to use my finger for a shade. So I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth on how I feel about the pan size difference, but I'm very excited to try these shadows out. I want to swatch them so bad, the same with the Lawless palette, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for another video and that's it.
So I'm really excited for that though. And then, you know, um, with Sephora, you get some samples and points and all of that. So one of the samples that I was able to pick up is from Ren Skincare. I love this brand. And this is the Bio Retinol Youth Serum. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, a product from Ren that I've never tried. And it's a decent size for a little sample. Next, I got a little <clears throat> aluminum sample, but this is from, so, how do you even say that? Sulwaso? But this is a brand that I came across through Ipsy. I have tried two things from the brand, a serum and I think a cream. I have loved them both. This is a gentle cleansing oil. I love cleansing oils and cleansing balms because I'm on the dry side. So I'm really excited to get a little taste of this. It's an expensive brand. I highly doubt that even if I love it, I'm going to go buy, you know, I'm going to go buy this product because I have so many cleansing oils and cleansing balms that I need to work through, but still fun to get to try it. Um, from Grande Cosmetics, I got their Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. If you did not know this about me, I use a lash enhancing serum day and night. Right now I'm using Babe Lash. I have used Grande in the past and I do like their lash serum. Also their brow serum. I saw major results from their brow serum. Right now, um, I am loving the Babe Lash. I use the brow and the lash serum from babe lash and i've got two backups after i finish the tubes that i'm using right now but after i'm done with the tubes that i'm using right now i may switch to another brand just to switch it up but i just thought i would grab this it might be a good thing for a future giveaway here on the channel because i just hit 1500 subscribers and I was there for a day and then YouTube knocked one off. So I'm back down to 4,000, 4, or 4,000, I wish, 1,499. Um, thanks, YouTube. But uh, we will be doing a massive giveaway once I hit 1,500 and I stay there. <laughs> but um, just something because I like the product and that's enough about that product. So last but not least, look at the little baby. Look at the little baby. It's so tiny. It's the size of my pinky. But this is from Smashbox and it is their Photo Finish Primerizer Moisturizing Primer. Now I have tried their Photo Finish and like the mattifying one. It was a little too drying for me, but um, I'm excited to give a little, a little try to the moisturizing version of that. So that's my Sephora haul for this time. And I've already got a couple more products that in mind that I want to purchase from Sephora very soon. But also I need to keep in mind that I have Christmas right around the corner for three kids here. And I need to be very, uh, what's the word? Very conservative with my spending on makeup and skincare, considering there's absolutely not a thing that I need when it comes to makeup or skincare. I am completely stocked up on everything. If anything, it's just that I want, you know, I want to try new things all the time. I want the latest releases, but this mama needs to think about Christmas for her babies coming up and that kind of thing as well. So, but there are definitely a couple things that I will be getting very soon. And also I'll be back very soon to do a try on of all of these products as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me tonight. I hope you have a fabulous day, night, whatever it is right now where you're at. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.